Hi beautiful people. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Tina and today I want to lift up the name of Jesus, make him bigger than all of our stress so we can find our healing and rest in him. I wanted to share five simple ways for us to make God bigger, okay? To get beyond the distractions, to see God for who he is and to exalt his name in the midst of every storm that we face. Five ways for us to make God bigger. Be prayerful, be thankful, be watchful, be faithful, and be a blessing. Okay, let me say those again. Be prayerful, be thankful, be watchful, be faithful, and be a blessing, okay? These are five simple ways. I'm not saying they're all easy, but they are simple. Simple ways to make God bigger. And that is so necessary for us as believers. And there's a few scriptures that I want to leave you with. The first one, the first and second one actually, I want to connect with being prayerful, being thankful, and being watchful, okay? So we're going to cover being prayerful, being thankful, and being watchful with these two scriptures. The first one, that's 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. It says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. The second scripture comes from Colossians 4, verse 2, and it says, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Ask the Holy Spirit to open your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears so that you can see and hear what it is he wants you to see and hear in this very hour, okay? Be very mindful of the voice of God in every thing that you are doing okay um, don't disregard God speaking through your children God speaking through the leaves blowing in the breeze pay attention be still and know that God is God okay take time to be still take time to be quiet all right so be faithful being faithful is taken from 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Now, this helps us to look beyond distractions, okay? We're not moved by what we see. We're moved by the word of God and what God says. So what is faithful? It's being confident in Jesus. It's being confident in him and trusting in him, okay? So... Being faithful is living according to what God has already promised in his word, even when you can't see it, okay? Even though it hasn't yet been manifested, we are still living according to what God promised in his word. So God wants us to be faithful each and every day. And last but not least, he wants us to be a blessing. And this is taken from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15 and 16. And it says, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name, and do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Okay, and that's from Hebrews 13, 15 through 16. So the last scripture I want to leave you with is Hebrews 12, 28 through 29. And it says, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe for our God is a consuming fire. Right now, I just want to say a quick prayer, okay? 
Dear Lord Jesus, right now, I want to thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you for loving us, God. Thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. Lord, I ask that you please forgive us of all of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, God. Create in us a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within us. Soften all hardened hearts right now, Lord. Seek Jesus so that we can feel your presence once again, God. I pray if there's anybody that is in pain, uh, specifically the right leg, I pray, Heavenly Father, for healing healing in their leg, God, that you would take all pain away. But Lord, I thank you for who you are in our lives, God. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and you are a consuming fire, and we will not be moved by what we see. We will walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.